Hello, and Jay, Route22.com here with a night edition of our supermarket roundup. Uh, this is for Labor Day weekend, 2018. I didn't get our, uh, our uh, normal flyers. It doesn't really matter because we don't really talk too much about Kings because they're a rip. Um, Bishops or IGA supermarkets, are we like them, we shop there, they're local, but we typically don't find anything like door buster material. And we usually, and, and we used to talk about stop and shop, but we're done with stop and shop. Uh, we just don't like their, the, the, the model of the business and it, it, they seem like a little bit out of touch with their local communities, in my opinion. So we stick with ShopRite and sometimes I talk about Aldi. I love Aldi. Aldi is good for a certain set of things. It's a bit further away for us to go to. Um, and, uh, and Wegmans is, is one of our favorite places to go as well. Wegmans is uh, a good overall supermarket, but we mix it up. So there's no, we don't get stuck in a routine. But ShopRite uh, definitely uh, is number one because they have a lot of different locations in, in across New Jersey and when, when you're trip combining, you always find a shop right conveniently that, to add on to your trip uh, itinerary. So real quick here, we'll get rid of my flyer here. This is njroot22.com by the way. I made that flyer in 30 seconds and printed it out. Okay, and I have like a thousand of them that I haven't put up anywhere. Maybe Anybody wants to help me uh, put these up somewhere and get some exposure like organically for my business, uh, please uh, email me. Okay, so September is, uh, there's no major holidays except for Labor Day, of course, um, which is past this, uh, well, it's actually September 3rd this year. They have Family Meals Month. I, I don't know, I thought <laughs> back when I grew up, uh, every meal was a family meal. Anyway, they have some coupons, super coupons they call them. These are called super coupons. Uh, I, I X off for my own good. I mean, we don't eat, you should understand, we don't drink any soda. That's When you finally realize that you've been drinking just garbage your whole life, I'm not here to judge, but it's, there's no reason to drink soda. Water, tea, coffee, wine, those are our four beverages. Uh, I X off the things that I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. Uh, however, there's about three or four coupons here that might be worth uh, using because they go above and beyond the already sale prices that are in here. They got some uh, some of these uh, Italian Tutorosa tomatoes on sale. If you like making sauces and stuff that or whatever, that's a good deal. Or keeping your your prep basement uh, storage unit. And they also have these ready packed salad bowls. I, I looked at them, they look okay. I've never had them, but that's a bargain for lunch. And I think one of the better deals here on this page uh, this week was the uh, this R.W. Knudsen, Knudsen they say, it's Knudsen. Uh, I'm not a big fan of juice because I think it's just really high in sugar and you gotta be careful with that, so. Of course, they have this uh, boneless sirloin steak, which I, I don't know. I, I have bad luck. I mean, slow cook, slow cooking is my favorite. A couple other things here uh, that are, are might be of interest to you. I mean, they got these uh, four-pack uh, 60 watt light bulbs. It, it averages out to two dollars a bulb. And LED bulbs are okay. They 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 don't burn out uh, unless you get a defective one, and they last uh, 10 or 20 years. However, uh, there's been some contradicting information that might indicate that it's not good to have blue light and it could affect your circadian rhythm and all this other stuff. And then plus they have energizer batteries. That's a, like these massive packs for 10 bucks. That's like a 33% savings. However, I highly recommend nickel metal hydride batteries. The Amazon ones are, are really a good value and they last, you can charge them 500 to 1,000 times. And the return on investment is, is amazing. And they also have some half price, uh, no, 30% off or whatever this is, uh, glass storage. We like glass storage uh, better than plastic. But whatever, you do what you want. Okay, let's see what this sales flyer is about. I'm gonna try and bang this out here. Again with the lobsters. A lobsters, again, I, I don't think people are into lobsters anymore. They got a couple days left for their uh, London broil, which I, I recommend cooking only in a slow cooker because it, it's it's not a not a, the best cut of meat out there. Oh, and 
this nature's bounty. We've had luck with some of this, but they say limit four per variety. I guess that means you could buy up to four of every single nature's bounty vitamin they have. That's, uh, that's my guess. And I believe again that they do this to prevent other store, like little bodegas in the middle of nowhere, like 50 miles from a shop right, from buying these vitamins and stocking their shelves and creating their own health food store. That's, that's just my guess. Uh, I'm sure you could game the system if you really want to just sign up to like five or six price plus card accounts and um, you, you can get uh, whatever you 20, 20, um, 20 or 24 of each variety if you if you uh, do that. So let's go flip through this. I made all sorts of markings this week. Again, the second week in a row, the Pat Lafrida burgers are a buck off. Those are one of our favorite. They're they're very very uh, just reliable. Those are those are restaurant quality hamburgers. They're really good. And guess what? Johnsonville breakfast sausages and bratwurst links. Those are a lot of health conscious people would stay away from that, especially vegans because they're meat. But that's one of the most affordable and, and best ways to, to satiate your hunger. We, when I grill a six pack of these uh, sausages up, bratwurst or whatever, keep them in a Ziploc bag and if I might just eat one all day. They, they satiate you. There's no sugar in it, no carbs. <clears throat> so highly recommend it. They got their new best fried chicken ever again on sale this week. $5.99 for an eight pack of chicken sure beats KFC. We don't need fast food or anything like that anymore either. And I'm not going to talk about these bonuses. This is this has to be my favorite sale item of the week, if you really want to know. Hormel Black Label Bacon. $3.99. That's, that's the price I like to pay no more than. And they they have uh, Hormel low lower sodium bacon is fantastic because it doesn't use traditional processed salt, so they say. I'm trusting them. It uses sea salt instead of regular salt. I mean, the bacon alone is fine, but you can add your own sea salt on on the uh, on the bacon while it's cooking to, to bring it up to your so tasty, salty level if you want. I, that's my highly recommended brand of bacon. And if you got seven minutes into this video, you got a gem because they truly, you got to look at the ingredients. It, it's a gr great thing. And here's another good deal. Second best deal of the week are these Pete and Jerry's organic eggs. Out of all the eggs, we did a story about eggs on njroot22.com a few weeks ago about eggs and it's an extremely complicated industry. Eggs, anything, I'm sorry, anything organic isn't equal in quality. They have different farming practices, it's purposely muddied, it's complicated and there's uh, places out there like the Cornucopia Institute that help educate you and figure out the differences because the difference between the, the best and the worst is pretty substantial. Some of the worst uh, are, are like no better and possibly even worse than traditional uh, products. So you gotta be careful. But at ShopRite, they have uh, 50 million different kinds of eggs. Pete and Jerry's eggs were indeed rated near uh, the top of what, I think it was the highest quality eggs that ShopRite carries organically. So keep that in mind. And here's some ordinary cabbage cheese, which I think is a good deal this week. It's, it's the same as the ShopRite shredded cheese, but you want to mix it up every now and then. And also, I have n nothing to be ashamed of when you buy ShopRite mozzarella. Three bucks a pound. It, it's a good melting cheese, and it's, it's fun to snack on, and it lasts a pretty good long time in the fridge. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these, these celebrities, okay? I'm not a big fan. I don't give a hoot about any of these people on TV. They're no better. They're just they're just crafted to, to appear like they know what they're talking about and a lot of susceptible people fall for it and then there's this other whole industry that, that, that grows because of their celebrity. I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, I, I don't really care. I mean some of these people every now and then I'm sure Bobby Flay is a good guy and so on but I mean we used to go to Bobby Flay at some of these one of these uh, hotels somewhere. But here's something I want you to be aware of. It's this buy six, save three dollars, instant bucks. And I think it's a Frito or, I'm sorry, a Pepsi, Pepsi company. Just be careful. If you study this whole list of items, it's pretty much almost all of it is no good for you. 
don't use the enticement of, of a little extra coin uh, to stock up on these things that are gonna end up costing you a lot more in the future. This $3 savings <coughs> is gonna cost you pain and suffering and medical, all sorts of issues in the future. So don't, don't fall for that. Just walk away. And I think that we kind of breeze through the ShopRite flyer otherwise. Uh, here's a one other thing I would like to talk about. I think the Nature's Bounty and the ShopRite vitamins are good based on our experience uh, on a couple things that we use, 5-HTP uh, and cinnamon. They're okay. But what I highly recommend against is never get a gummy vitamin. Never voluntarily put added sugar in your body. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. I don't care how fun it is to eat. They use that emotional trigger and, this, and the, the satisfaction of sugar and the candy-like thing to get you to buy it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not a good idea. And I think the one other thing I wanted to say, this, this is a very good thing. Club size savings. If there's anything you buy a, a frequently, often, and use on a regular basis, it's always best to buy the, the big, the lowest price per unit, ground beef, or, or anything where you can get the club size savings and not waste anything, like i.e. if you can buy eggs or meat, and either freeze it or prepare food for future use and freeze it, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a favor when it comes to saving money. Lastly, uh, there's two other things here. I have the uh, this extra flyer which you don't get delivered to you and we have a catering thing. Um, We've never used ShopRite catering. We've always used Wegmans, but th it seems like the ShopRite catering uh, options really has a, has a, they have a lot of stuff you can pick. And I don't know what the, the value is or what the quality is, or if they put a lot of love into it, or if they have really good chefs uh, handling this. I, it's something we might try out. If anybody's tr tried, out, tried out ShopRite catering at all in the past, let us know. And one last little quick way to save money here. In the ShopRite flyer bins, they have this. They have these occasional supplemental flyers. This uh, point in time, it's welcome back to school for kids. And they have a few extra coupons you could save a few uh, nickels on. Um, and I check mark, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I don't like the Sab Sabra brand of um, hummus or guacamole because it's owned by a large multi-billion dollar conglomerate. But there's a couple things that are good here. The Hip Chick Farms, they make these uh, organic uh, chicken fingers. Not a good value in general, but they're pretty tasty. And if you can save a buck on, on one of them, it's, it's always helpful. And this Justin's, um, what do you call it? Almond or hazelnut butter. They come in this pack you can just inject into your mouth. That's not a bad bad little coupon to have. And I'm on the fence about any baby food nowadays because the kids love it. The, the baby will eat, pick that over anything else because it's so high in sugar. I don't care if it comes from fruit. It's just condensed fruit. I'd rather them eat the whole fruit and that's, uh, that's something that uh, I'll stick by. And, and there's another thing. Uh, Another member of our family came home raving about these uh, cauliflower crackers. You'll like them, they're cauliflower. No, they have a little bit of cauliflower and a lot of rice flour. And they're just as high in carbs. The only thing they're good for is for gluten-free people. And you might want to just uh, look into that a little bit um, when it comes to uh, gluten-free. And we don't mind these uh, holy guacamole things. But they, they're okay, but they're sort of flavorless, in my opinion. Um, and the rest of the stuff is pretty much not, not a no-go for us, but this Friendship uh, Cottage Cheese, I guess it's okay. Always buy the whole fat one. They got some um, recipes in here, which actually, there was one I really wanted to make, and it's this slow cooker salsa chicken. It sounds fun. You know, you get chicken thighs, which are the best cut of meat, and you throw some salsa, a few Mexican spices, some salt, and some broth, and stick it in there for four hours, and it, that looks like a good meal. I mean, they, they added their tortilla here, and so on, but I would just eat it plain with some cilantro on it, and some sour cream, and that, that sounds like a good deal. I'll, I'll hold it up here one more time if you wanna study the recipe for a few minutes. I think this is a, a good little thing to make. So that's it.
a 15 minute uh, supermarket, well, shop right, roundup, but it was uh, filled with lots of things and, and a lot of armchair philosophy built in into our, our, our video vlogs here. So hopefully you can uh, get some value out of this and if you can or do, uh, please either email us at uh, njroot22 at gmail.com or you subscribe to the channel, comment, or go on our vlog, which is njroot20, no, I'm sorry, blog, njroot22.com, where we publish a story every day, maybe sometimes more, and have interesting things to talk about this area of New Jersey. And that's it. Have a nice Labor Day weekend, and uh, don't drink too much.